We've got a Genesis 2 character loaded in, and we have a an animation here. It's just a kind of a pacing cycle. What we want to do is add the upper half of this animation where she's talking on the phone. So let's go ahead, select right here, add another layer, and let's add this Anna block. And you can see that by default it's an additive influence. So all the joint rotations are added to the base animation. So that looks like a nightmare. So let's fix it. Double click right here and it's going to bring up this dialog box. So right now it's add. Let's go to override. And override the difference between extended influence and limited influence is extended influence is going to go the influence is going to go past the Anna block. So this lower one is actually longer than this one, so it doesn't matter which one we do. But what we want to do is uncheck all the things that we do not want it to override. We want to keep the base layer the the bottom half of the base animation. And the phone animation isn't really affecting the left hand or arm, so let's uncheck that as well. So let's check it out now. So we have the base layer of her pacing back and forth, and the upper half is talking on the phone. So that looks good, but let's go over how to do it on a Genesis 3 character. So here's our Genesis 3 character, and we have her going through this simple walk and turn cycle. And what we want to do is add her looking at her watch like this. So let's do the same thing. Add a layer, add this. It's additive. Don't get scared. I'm going to fix it. Double click right here. Bring up the dialog box again, and you're going to see that some of these are grayed out. The problem is the Genesis 3 naming system is different than Genesis 2 and before, and the plugin was built during the Genesis 2 era. The Animate team is working on the fix, but until then, I'm going to show you how to get around it. So you can see her thigh and abdomen are still being influenced by this lower anablock. So let's go into keyframe mode and then bring up our graph editor. And what we want to do, we want to get the hip and all rotations and positions in our hip bone. And what we want to do, select all the keyframes and hit minus. Not zero, make sure you hit minus. Let's do the same thing for the left thigh bend, left thigh twist right thigh bend, right thigh twist, and all the abdomen lower. So let's select all these keyframes. Select all the keyframes, hit minus. Now play it through and you're gonna see that the main anablock is now controlling the correct bones. And again, you're going to want to go in, add more layers, and fix the hands, put some more life to the animation.